This video is a demonstration of the Week 10 Challenge project. This project was a, a challenge to build a Node.js command line application that takes in information about employees of a software engineering team and generates an HTML web page to display the summary of each of those personnel that was input by the user. The input is taken through command line and this application is built using Node.js. So to run the initial application, we can run node index. Then we are prompted for the manager's name. We can enter something like John. The manager's ID is input as well. Then we are prompted for an email, which we can enter something filler. Next, we are asked for the office number, which we can also provide. Next, we are asked if we want to add an engineer next or an intern next, because the manager cannot work alone. Next, we're going to add an engineer. We're going to fill this in with more information about the name, the employee ID, the email, and the GitHub username, which I will provide my own for demonstration purposes. Next, we're asked if we want to add any more members to the team. We're going to select yes. We're going to add an intern to demonstrate its functionality. The intern can also have a name, can have an ID, and it can have its own email and the school that the intern went to, we can input as well. Next, we are asked if we would like to add any more members. For this, I'm going to input a few more nonsense members so we can see how this reflects on the finished web page. Next, we can go down here and select that we do not want to add any more users. And we are prompted with a message saying, your team creation is finished. We can then go to the distribution folder in our application and see our generated HTML page, which was generated entirely by the Node.js application containing all the information that we provided. We can go ahead and run the application in our browser, and here we are prompted with a nice clean layout for my team, and it displays all the information that we entered for all of our team members. We can see all the emails that we entered, we can see the IDs, we can see the job titles, the names that we entered for them, and clicking on our engineers. GitHub username will take us to that engineer's GitHub page, which in this case is my own. Going through the development process for this, we can see that there were tests written for all of the objects prior to actually using them to implement test-driven design to write cleaner, simpler, and more efficient code. You can see all these tests were written using the Just library for Node.js and provided a very simple way to actually ensure that all of the code worked. This was a demonstration of this week 10's challenge project. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.